Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to use the flex direction property to make a row. Uh, adding display flex to an element turns it into a flex container. This makes it possible to align any children of that element in rows or columns. You do this by adding flex direction property to the parent item and setting it to a row or column. Creating a row with align the children, align the children, Creating a, a row will align the children horizontally, and creating a column will align the children vertically. Creating a row will align the children horizontally, and a column hor vertically. Okay, row and column, just like in uh, Excel. Uh, other options for flex direction are row reverse and column reverse, which is probably just the same thing in reverse. Uh, default value for the flex direction property is row. Okay, so if you don't set it, it'll go to row. Add the CSS property flex direction to the box container. Okay, this is just like the first one. Flex direction. Add a CSS property flex direction to the box container. This is the box container, so we want flex direction. And we want to set it to uh, row reverse. So my guess is that what's blue over here, it's right over here. We're just gonna go row reverse. And that's just gonna switch these around. So that's pretty much it. But this, the reason that they're showing you this is that, well, like flex direction. Default value is row. Could we do call? Oh, cool, and that'll put them on top of each other. And then this will make the blue on top of the red. So row reverse. So yeah, this is it. I actually use a software called Bootstrap all the time to do this mobile responsive stuff. And that's what this really is, is mobile responsive stuff. And so it's really cool to just learn the CSS. I might actually start liking this more than uh, Bootstrap because I always like the core technologies like CSS, HTML, and JavaScript rather than using built-on libraries like um, React, um, Bootstrap, Vue, unless you have a specific need for them. But I would say for default, um, when you're building an application, especially in its early stage, if you use default core technologies, you can always upgrade but it's hard to downgrade, I would say. It's also hard to, hard to upgrade if you get a big application. So, um, but I think that using raw CSS is a great way to start. Anyways, if I run the tests, I think this will pass. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.